Hello and welcome to Asian Voices. We are your source for Asian and Pacific Islander culture, lifestyle, and entertainment. I'm your host, Kathleen Choi. In today's special episode, we honor three courageous individuals with their stories who all had no choice but for their families to flee as victims of the wars in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Their stories serve as poignant examples of how unbreakable the human spirit is in overcoming adversity and eventually achieving success. Our first guest is an outspoken artist who weaves traditional Chinese imagery with American pop modernism to create evocative imagery with an underlying context, exploring what she calls the in-betweenness in her cultural identity as an Asian American woman. Let's meet art professor Fang Wen to learn how her message is reflected in her work. So my name is Fang Huen and I'm a Los Angeles based artist. I was born in Vietnam and my mother is Chinese also born in Vietnam like myself and my father is Cambodian and we came in the 70s as refugees. We were known as the boat people and we landed in a Thai refugee camp and were sponsored by an American family and landed in Michigan and eventually I moved to Los Angeles when I was four. So that's how I came here. For me, art was something that gave me a voice because growing up as a daughter of refugee parents, there was this pressure to do really well in school, to be successful, and so that's what I did. I did really well in school, and my parents always saw art as, this is your hobby, it's not what you're going to do. So my idea of what I would do was to be a doctor or a lawyer. After high school, I went to USC as a pre-med major, so my parents thought, and I was taking all of these art classes and decided, you know, I'm going to do this, that life, life is too short. And art has always been a vehicle for me to express myself and to feel good about myself and to feel visible. So in my work, I combine, it's a hybrid of um, what people perceive as Eastern art and Western art. So the Eastern formal components are like the line, the flatness, the isometric perspective, the geometric shapes, and then I contrast that with more well-rendered, or not well-rendered, but more three-dimensionally rendered faces and figures. Um, so you see a lot of that in, in the work formally. Um, and then there's also these crazy narrative aspects to my work too, like there's a story, but the story isn't always linear. It's not like I have the story in mind and it's your job as a viewer to decipher that. So I do mostly, my work is primarily drawing and painting and for many, many years it was about exploring my cultural identity, which is in flux. It's constantly in flux. So I was born in Vietnam, but my father's Cambodian, but my mother's of Chinese descent, and here I am growing up in America. So within the Asian community itself, I'm already in between. Like I'm not really Chinese, I'm not really Khmer, I'm not really Vietnamese, um, and for Americans, I'm Asian American. So a lot of my work deals with navigating, you know, know between being all of these things and so a lot of my early work was about what does it mean growing up in America and being Asian because you're never Asian enough and you're never American enough then more recently my work evolved into um, being a, a woman and what it means to be uh, an Asian woman or an Asian American woman but I'm also an educator, so a lot of my work deals with what am I saying to my students and to people, you know? Uh, a big turning point in investigating this body of work was I taught for a year at Scripps College, which is a women's college, and it really made me think about women's issues, and I wanted to address that in my work. This contradiction of what it means to be beautiful as an Asian woman and manufactured beauty. I look at um, cosmetic products, and especially cosmetic products in uh, like Little Tokyo or you know Asian stores where cosmetic pro products really aim to make Asian women look more white. So in 2017, I had a, a pretty, for me, big solo exhibition at CB1 Gallery, which was a, a gallery space in downtown LA. And the title of that exhibition, and I made about 70 pieces of artwork, and the title of that exhibition was called Pretty Hurts. The work Pretty Hurts, drawings and paintings and collages were about the influence of plastic surgery on Asian and Asian American women. So for example, in Korea right now, 
one in four women get plastic surgery, whether it's a nose job or um, fixing your eyes to widen them. But it's been so commonplace for women to feel this pressure to get plastic surgery. But more importantly, contrasting Chinese feet binding. Um, Chinese feet binding is a 1,000 year old practice and if you think about it, it's probably the earliest form of plastic surgery. You know, it's the earliest form of, of manipulating, deforming and your body to conform to a standard of beauty. Uh, I looked at artwork and photographs about the subject matter and how like, they all had small eyes, small feet, and, and small breasts. And I wanted to contrast that quote unquote orientalized look with you know, what's happening now to Asian women today and how they're so, they're worlds apart, but also very similar. I think like woman has been the theme this year. Like I went to Wellesley College, a women's college in Wellesley, Massachusetts to talk about these issues that I make in my work about body image and, and plastic surgery on Asian women. It's a very important time to be an Asian American woman, a very, very important time. Um, and that whole idea of being Asian American is a political statement, right? Because when you're asked, what are you? And this, I think that's the most interesting question. What are you instead of who are you? I get this all the time. What are you? I'm like, you mean who am I? But what they're trying to ask is, what is your cultural or ethnic background, right? And so a lot of times being Asian or Asian American, you tend to say, I'm Chinese American, I'm Filipina American. Um, but that talks more about your culture identity. But now, especially since 1968, being Asian American is about solidarity and unifying with other Asians and what that means. And now is a more important time than ever uh, to do that. Um, viewers can have access to my work and you know have conversations about my work. I'm happy to do that through my website and social media as well, yeah. I am Feng Huin, this is my voice.